So checking your oxygen level and your heart rate is a great way to get a snapshot of your current health. Today, we are taking a look at the Well You Check Me O2 Ultra Wrist Oxygen Manager. So if you need to check those vitals, instead of going to a specialist, pick up one of these, take care of it right in the comfort of your own home. The Check Me O2 Ultra features continuous detection, extremely high accuracy and fast soft wearing and app synchronization. So you can see all of that on your smart device at the same time. Now, one of the best times to use this is when you're waking up in the morning, when your heart is at its max rest, where it's not doing much work. That's a great indicator to see just where your health is. Um, for athletes or people who are into fitness, uh, probably from 40 to 60, that's probably where your resting heart rate is. For average people, probably 60 and up. Obviously the lower, uh, the better, means your heart is not doing too much work. As far as your oxygen level, of course you wanna have that from maybe 100 to 95, but if it starts hitting 92, then you might wanna check into that. All right, so inside of the box, you'll have your oxygen monitor right here. You'll see this goes on your wrist and this will actually go on your finger. Uh, as far as charging this, you definitely don't want to lose this. This does have a prior, a prior, a proprietary charging port. So just make sure as far as charging, you're not going to use a normal USB-C charger or USB charger. Make sure you have this on hand. Of course, you have your instructions at the same time. Now, in order to set this up, go ahead, just put it on your wrist like a watch. Go ahead and strap it on. It goes around, we'll tighten and then we'll just push it into the grooves of the wrist. And then just take this part here and put on your index finger and we can go ahead and turn on the power button for this. Now automatically you'll see that our wrist is set to vibrate at if our oxygen is at 90 and now it's checking all my vitals right now. My oxygen, and of course, my heart rate. All right, so right now currently we're at 96 oxygen level and of course 67 for my heart rate. Uh, this right now it's set to I believe at 50. So if it drops below 50, it'll start vibrating, giving all sorts of um, alerts. Like, hey, 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 you better check this out. What's funny is I was just kind of laying on the couch and it hit, it hit 48 as far as my heart rate. And I just started getting the buzzing, the vibration, uh, the alerts. I'm like, what's going on here? It was trying to say, hey, something's wrong. But you know, I, I like to take care of myself and it appears that my resting heart rate was about 48. Uh, you can see a little light right here as it's also getting the pulse. If I press this here, I can also see it checks the time and the battery life. Yeah, and we can go back to there. Now, I did mention app support, so let's go ahead and check that out. And on the dashboard, you can see it is tracking our oxygen level, our pulse rate, and of course, our motion at the same time. And you can see how it tracks it. There's like a timeline here, and through that timeline, we can see what percentage it's hitting during that time. The same thing with the pulse rate as well. Now, at the bottom, we'll see a motion here. This is not meant to be used during sports, but obviously, if you were to, for some reason, just kind of, um, engaged in some kind of movement, it would track that movement. And you can see the spikes here as it's picking up the movement and it'll correlate that along with the oxygen level and the pulse rate. And you'll see that on the overall timeline. You can also check out your history as well and it'll create a database um, for your previous ones. So you can kind of get a sense of what's happening through maybe a couple of days of sleep or maybe just throughout the day. It'll check on those things as well. Now you can also set up when you want the alerts to go off. So you have your O2 reminder. Okay, if you wanted to have to do a vibration or a sound, where is it gonna do it? And also the threshold, we have it at 90%. Uh, your PR reminder as well, you can set those parameters. And of course, you can also set the vibration intensity of this. So if I go to the very strong, this is buzzing right now. So just in case if I'm falling short on one of those parameters, it'll remind me through that buzz. We'll put it right back on medium. And of course you have other customizations that you can make right here within the app. And of course you can check out your profile, go to our premium account if you like, uh, connect us to third party services if you want like Apple Health or your iFit uh, and also adjust other settings at the same. Oh, and one final thing, if you press the history tab and press on one of these arrows within the history, uh, it gives a more detailed overview of your stats. Now, if for some reason you want to share this, go ahead and press the share button and you can send a PDF, CSV or binary file um, to either maybe a health professional or keep it for yourself. It's all right there at your fingertips. But yeah, that is the Well You Check Me O2 Ultra. Great device to get a snapshot quickly 
with your oxygen level and also your heart rate at the same time continuously throughout the day as long as you're wearing this it's very stylish very lightweight uh it's not bugging me at all it's just on and off uh actually as i was testing this after i got to see what like my regular levels were i put this on my wife and we got to see and we got to see what she was looking like uh and you know and then we can like and then we can make plans and adjustments from there what can we do to get your oxygen up how can we get your heart rate lower instant information right there at home without going to a specialist all right guys really hope this video helped you out take care bye as always i'll leave links in the description down below for your own hey guys do me a favor hit that like button if you like what's going on here hit that subscribe button if well if you love what's going on here and ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well all right i will see you next one take care